There is no greater love for a child than a parent's love, so when a child dies before their parent, the loss, of course, is devastating. Angela Ingram introduces us to a group of dads who help each other walk through the pain. A casual chat between guys over dinner is much more than it appears. What brought these men together is eternal love for their children. Doug's daughter, Katrina. My daughter, Katrina, uh, was a beautiful, young, 24-year-old, vibrant. Bob's son, Jordy, Dan's daughter, Nikki, Dave's daughter, Kelsey, and Bruce's daughter, Erica. 5'2", red hair, blue eyes, and a beautiful little girl. If you ask me at any age what was my success in life, she was it. Doug needed to walk through his pain after losing Katrina to an overdose. She worked with her dad in the family art gallery. Unless you've experienced the loss, you really don't understand the depth of the pain. And then we lost Logan a year and a half ago. They were part of a group for grieving families, but Doug wanted to start one specifically for men. It was clear to him that they were grieving differently. The guys in particular, um, just kind of set back and supported their, their wives, their, the mothers, um, but didn't say a whole lot. And I noticed that the guys had a tendency to, to hold their feelings pretty close. Some come to talk about their feelings, others for the company and bonding. And they all have a message for parents. Don't take for granted the time you have with your child. You know, this is something that you don't get over. You know, you don't really get past it. You just learn how to live with it. In Indian Hill, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Support is so important to have. And always learning to live with it. It, it never goes away. No, just no. unimaginable.